a reverse prayer. It's something I recommend to people who are very flexible in the shoulders and like almost slipping out on any TK they have. It's really important that the hands fitting into between the shoulder blades. There's like a lot of pressure still be able to put on it. And that's a reverse prayer. So the easiest way I found it is actually when we just do an, a simple anchor point on the arm, like on the muscle, just like here. And then I push and start also pulling the rope. And then we collect them all together. You can see the arms are really into the shoulder blades. I have no chance to work around here. So I will also not even try it. In the reverse prayer, the blood cut is more intense as in a strapado. So it happens very quickly. But I do not have much space here to work. So I really recommend to have a, a kind of this thing, and in the back we doing a little soft counter tension. What I mean with soft is there's not much tension on yet, so you can see it's kind of loose. Explaining the suspension lines. Just imagine it's like a TK. Everything what you do is on top, and because you do not have much space, be aware that when you do an epsilon, make it small or collapse it so you can see everything stays on place and the arms can't escape it's a very structural tie for people who really want to like to have the challenge and are very flexible for it but a little bit it will cut also to the shoulder but that is an option to play with but never do it like alone only on this harness because again it's it's very strongly on this side so that would be an option <laughs>